Right now, bricks and debris still falling from a partially collapsed building in the West Loop, forcing neighbors to evacuate. A shoddy rehab job is being blamed, and CBS 2's Stephen Gray's found out it's a project that should not have been going on in the first place. Stephen. Yeah, Brad, it's hard to see from the ground here, but I'm going to step out the way so you can just see how close these buildings are. And if you squint, you can see the wall from the building on the left just leaning onto that apartment complex where people live tonight. The owner of that vacant collapsed building under fire. A view from above shows the damage this morning. Part of a multi story vacant building just leaning on another. People living in that neighboring apartment complex forced out. I'm just going to rush to my friend's house, but I was freaking out. Malika was on a work call when she heard a jarring noise. It felt like it was like, you know, very strong voice. It felt like an earthquake. Then around 1030, police and fire rushed to the building near Skinner Park in the West Loop. There was a fire department knocking my door. Take a look. Debris was still falling after calls came into 911. First responders closed down West Jackson Boulevard into the afternoon. City inspectors came out later, eventually telling us this should have never happened. The Department of Buildings says the owner was gutting the structure for a rehab project, but without plans or permits. Going on to explain construction in the basement messed up the foundation, causing this. The owner hung up on us when we got him by phone. This man on scene spoke up for him. Uh, he's a client of mine and a friend. There was no way he saw that this was happening. He was doing a proper job excavating the inside and doing all the proper demo. But again, the city tells us no permits, no plans for a gut rehab that should have been taking place. CBS 2 looked at records for that building owner, Marie's Florek, the latest inspection in 2012. There are a number of code violations, including no permit on site. Today, the city saying it will, quote, hold the building owner accountable as those evacuated now wait for the next steps. Now I'm OK. <laughs> should be OK. And back out here live, we did reach out to the management of that apartment complex affected. It is unclear how long these evacuated residents will be out right now. The city saying it is making sure that surrounding areas are safe. Live here in the West Loop, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Stephen, thank you. So who is the building owner? CBS 2 investigators have encountered Maurice Florak for questionable tow truck practices. You can see our past reporting on Florak at CBSChicago.com. And on top of that, Florak's tow company is not in good standing with the Illinois Secretary of State. He hasn't paid his annual fee nor filed his annual report. He can expect a letter in the mail at the address of the building collapse, the headquarters of his towing company.